guys. Long time no talk. Um, I did some vlogging over the weekend. We celebrated my mom's 50th birthday, but I didn't really talk or narrate it, and so I thought I would just kind of catch you up on what's been going on lately. Um, Gray is here. He's rolling around like crazy, even though it's basically his bedtime. He doesn't seem very tired. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my gosh. He is crazy. He's been playing in this empty diaper box and pretending to go night night in it. Oh, there he goes again. He's going to do some flips. So, yeah, this weekend was super fun. We celebrated my mom's birthday, like I said. She turned 50. And so we were all able to get together here in Columbus, mostly at my house just because I have gray. And um, we went shopping. We decorated my house. I took a video of, like, all the decorations that we did. It was super fun. We had, like, streamers. We got balloons with big, like, five zero balloons for 50. We had, like, uh, backdrops we could take pictures in front of. We got a cake. Uh, we went all out. It was super fun. We got a wine glass for her that said 50 and yeah, it was just super fun. Um, so we decorated the house, surprised her with that. And then we went shopping, we had dinner and then we came back here and played games and gave her her present, which this year we, um, made like a book that's like 50 reasons why we love you and just put like different reasons why we love her and different pictures from years past, so that was really fun to make. And Anthony and I got my mom a uh, voucher for a cooking class for her and my dad to do together. I thought it'd be a cute date night idea. So yeah, that was super fun. It was great that we all got together. The biggest update is this whole coronavirus, which I am 100% positive you all know what I'm talking about. Um, it's taken over everyone's lives lately just with turning the world upside down um and if you didn't know i live in columbus ohio and ohio is getting hit pretty hard with changes our governor has shut down restaurants bars gyms uh today he did haircut salons nail salons uh movie theaters are shut down um, basically everything indoors, uh, unless it's a grocery store or a hospital, it's basically shut down. Um, a lot of the clothing stores are shutting down on their own. I saw Macy's is shut down, Bath and Body Works is shut down, um, American Eagle is shut down. So, yeah, a lot of these places are closing because people don't want the coronavirus to spread, even though it has been spreading. Um, so it's been really hard lately to adjust to this new kind of temporary life that we got going on. Uh, we really can't go out anywhere because there's nowhere to go unless we want to go grocery shopping. Um, I ran to the store when I heard that they were shutting down the uh, all the hair salons. I ran and got Grayson a haircut. As you can see, his hair is much shorter now. <coughs> oh, goodness. He's got a little bit of a cold, and he's still doing flips off the couch. So, yeah, um, in a couple weeks, I'm having Grayson do his uh, two-year-old photos, and his hair was super long. If you saw in previous clips his hair was really long and that's so why I wanted it short and I was trying to hold off until it got closer to I usually like to get his hair cut like a week out from nice events or nice events important events so that he looks good but um obviously that really wasn't an option after today because all the hair salons are closing for who knows how long people are hoping that most places will open up uh at the end of this month end of march beginning of april but there's really no telling when this is all gonna be lifted i think it just kind of depends on how much the virus spreads currently today is march 18th my mom's actual birthday and there are 88 cases in ohio so, yeah, the only thing that they really haven't closed down yet are daycares, which the governor said is coming. Thankfully, that doesn't really affect our family, but I know a lot of people it will, so that's going to be crazy. Anthony has been ordered to work from home for three weeks, 
So today was day one of him working from home. He's been sitting over here in the kitchen and he just works on his computer, has conference calls and things and I just try to keep Grayson out of his way. Uh, we're hoping for nicer weather to come soon. It's been pouring rain all day today and most of yesterday. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow as well. Although tomorrow, today was only like a high of 50. Tomorrow's supposed to be high of like 60, like mid 60s, but it is supposed to rain. So I'm just waiting for it to get warm out so we can go to parks. We can go on walks, just get out of the house because there's really nowhere else we can go. I think the malls are still open, but I think it's kind of like frowned upon to go out there. And um, yeah, so it's really sad. All of the libraries are closed. We can't go to story time at the library anymore. All of you know, the play dates have been closed with all of my, um, all, they've been canceled uh, with all of my mom friends because we're just trying to, do social distancing is what they call it. So it's just really sad. A lot of the fun activities that we like to do have been taken from us because of this virus. And I know a lot of people have their opinions on it, whether they think it's a good thing or a bad thing. I can understand both sides of it. It's just really sad. Um, a lot of weddings have been rescheduled or canceled funerals can only be like small amount like of 10 people cruise ships have stopped disney is canceled uh, people's trips have been canceled um, my parents are supposed to go to mexico i think next week and that's been canceled um so it's really sad it's just interfering with a lot of people's plans and a lot of us just couldn't couldn't see this coming. Um, Anthony was supposed to head off to a bachelor party this weekend in Miami, Florida, and that's been canceled because of everything that's going on. Um, I talked about it in a, on a previous vlog. They were supposed to go to a concert. That got canceled. We're still fighting to try to get our money back. Um, I don't have an update on that yet. PNC is fighting it for us, so we'll see if we get reimbursed or not. The stocks are doing terrible. Uh, back in December, we put about $20,000 in, in stocks and bonds, and we've lost so much money because the stocks are plummeting because of what's happening. Uh, unemployment rates in Ohio are skyrocketing because all of the restaurants and now hair salons, they're all closing and they're having to lay off all their workers. Uh, my dad owns a chain of restaurants and he has had to close them because they just cannot make enough money. Um, even though restaurants are closed here in Ohio, you can still do uh, delivery or carry out. But even with that, my dad's uh, restaurants just haven't been able to make enough money. So they are closing those until the ban is lifted in Ohio. Um, it's really crazy because um, schools in Ohio are closed. And then, of course, the restaurants and all these things. But then if you go to other states, uh, they don't have such demanding uh, closures. Uh, schools in Virginia are still open. Uh, restaurants are open uh, people are flooding the beaches in Florida and having a great time so it's very unequal the uh, difference between states and uh, there's people in San Francisco who are under lockdown and cannot leave their houses except for like necessities I heard that they are trying to figure out if they want to do that with New York, too So yeah, it's just a scary time right now. I'm not so scared of us getting sick or getting the virus I'm mostly just sad about canceled plans so yeah, it's been really hard lately um, just dealing with all these changes, you go from having freedom and being able to go wherever you want, do whatever you want, and now there's all these restrictions. So it's just been really tough. I'm sure all of you are experiencing the th same or similar things as well, even if you don't live in Ohio. So yeah, it's just really sad. Um, we're hoping this virus goes away soon. My sister is getting married in June. We're hoping we don't have to reschedule her wedding or bachelorette party or anything, but it's just kind of a waiting game right now. That's kind of an update. It's kind of a somber update because it's been really sad. Thankfully, Grayson is little and doesn't understand what's going on. And so he just 
is happy to see his dad more often and he's just kind of bored because we're just stuck in the house a lot but I know as soon as it gets warmer we're gonna go outside and he'll have a lot he'll be happier but thankfully Anthony you know has a reliable job he's not been laid off he's still getting a paycheck so it, things could be much worse I have friends who have their own businesses and they've had to close those businesses my dad had to close his business and so a lot of people are hurting financially um, and so thankfully we are not one of those people but it is very sad um, just to see the effect that this is gonna have on the economy I just I have no idea how, how we're gonna how things are gonna be I guess we just need to keep looking up and just taking one day at a time and um, you know eventually we're gonna come out of this China is already starting to recover and that's where the virus started so I know there's a bright light on the other side this isn't the first pandemic that's ever happened in the history of the world um, so things will get better. It's just annoying to have to wait it out, but we will make it, um, you know, the sun will come up tomorrow as the song says, but yeah, it's just, it's rough, but I was excited we could celebrate with my mom this past weekend. Even Anthony who had to work the weekend was able to, um, attend the dinner and, um, the cake and everything. So that was good. I'm glad we were able to at least celebrate my mom that way. I feel bad because like she really can't do anything on her birthday because everything's closed. No! They were going to go to New York, but just no point because of all the closures and everything. So, But Gray's having a great time. He doesn't know there's a virus. He doesn't know that there's closures. All he knows is we're having fun. <laughs> What are you doing? Are you ready for bed? Oh, okay. I need to put you back in gymnastics class, huh? Oh, except it's closed because <laughs> of the virus. Uh, Gray. One, two, four. Five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. You see that baby? What letter is that? One. It looks like a one, doesn't it? It's an I. I did mention to forget, my doctor's office is still um, open, obviously, and taking appointments. So my doctor's appointments have not been interrupted or rescheduled. I'm still going next Monday for my 16-week doctor's appointment. So that is still on. However, my dentist has closed and Grayson's pediatric office, they're only taking, um, you know, sick cases right now. So those things have been put on hold, but thankfully my, um, my pregnancy appointments are still going as planned, which is good. Are you ready to go night night? Should we go brush our teeth? Should we go brush our teeth? Yeah, we're gonna brush our teeth and then we're gonna read a book. <laughs> we go night night. Ooh, good job. Okay, come on, let's go. Say bye bye.